Item number SCP-5101 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures All records detailing SCP-5101 including this document are to be contained within three conceptual barriers hereafter referred to as Thresholds Maya, Premier, and Youth. Threshold Maya is a circular formation 5 meters in diameter which surrounds Threshold Premier and Youth in all SCP-5101 documentation. Threshold Maya is to be composed from a mixture of industrial grey chalk and fresh grain. These materials are to be replenished twice a week. No personnel are to visually observe Threshold Maya while it is being replenished under any circumstances. Threshold Premier is a circular formation 3 meters in diameter which surrounds Threshold Youth and all SCP-5101 documentation. Threshold Premier is to be composed from a mixture of pigeon blood and cement. These materials are to be replenished 6 times a month. Timing of these replenishments are not relevant and can be performed in rapid succession at the start of every month. During replenishment, personnel are to ignore any demands posed by Threshold Premier. Threshold Youth is a circular formation 1 meter in diameter, which surrounds and contains all SCP-5101 documentation. Threshold Youth is to be composed from a mixture of human spinal fluid and industrial grade chalk. These materials are not to be replenished under any circumstances. Once Threshold Youth has shaded to such a degree that it cannot be physically recognized, personnel are to take care of to ensure they keep track of its location. Once a month, a humanoid entity will appear on the border of Threshold Youth and inform personnel of any adjustments that must be made to these containment procedures. These instructions are to be followed without question and the entity is then to be executed using a gunshot to the head. Outside the agents specified in these containment procedures, personnel are not to make physical contact with Threshold Maya, Premia, or Youth. Description SCP-5101 is a set of anomalous containment procedures which, when publicly enacted, prevent any entity within its boundaries from interfering with the outside world preventing any sentient entities in the outside world from interfering that which is contained. Due to the lack of information on how SCP-5101 operates and the suspicious nature of its creation, it has been denied redesignation as foul and is instead currently in use to contain itself. Addendum 5101 Circumstances of Creation SCP-5101 was created by Julius Green, a razor containment specialist with full service record, including successful reclassification of 22 anomalies from Keter to Safe, see Site-22 Present Now Archive. Under orders from the Overseer Council to develop procedures capable of containing a highly dangerous object or entity, due to security concerns, the Foundation is not at liberty to further discuss this anomaly. However, the Overseer Council has declassified the following message exchange for use in, in tracking development of SCP-5101. From Attendant J.L. to Julius Green. From the Office of 056. Mr. Green, 056 has requisitioned your assistance with the containment of a classified anomaly. For the context is attached to this message, you are to drop all existing projects and focus all your efforts upon this task. Note that this anomaly is classified pitch black in terms of information control. As a result, the following measures will be taken upon your completion of this task. You will undergo amnestic therapy to remove all memories from the work with the anomaly. You will be subject to additional needle agents designed to prevent you from reasoning what you have been doing during your missing portion of memory. You are explicitly forbidden from discussing your work with any colleagues. If this directive is not followed, severe consequences will ensue, including possible termination language privileges. The anomaly you are working on will not be listed in any Foundation database, and you will not receive credit for your work. 
056 awaits your agreement to these terms. Reply at your earliest convenience. From Julius Green to Attendant J.L. With all due respect, the information you've given me here is extremely limited, and I honestly can't see how I am expected to draft up containment procedures, and I don't have a full idea what I'm containing. Quite frankly, the details you've given me access to aren't even enough to give it an object class. I understand the need for secrecy, but you need to give me more than this. I didn't manage to lock those other threats up with a blindfold on. From the office of 056, negative. You have already agreed to this task as dictated by 056, and will not accept delay. See that your work is complete in seven days' time. That's been extremely unreasonable. If you want me to work under these conditions, I won't be able to produce anything of quality. Can I speak to your superior directly about this? Negative. You have already agreed to this task as dictated by 056, and it will not accept delay. See that your work is complete in six days' time. Your deadline is approached. See that your work is complete in five days' time. Yes, I understand that my deadline is approaching. I've started to consider the problem from a more general perspective. Containment as a whole rather than containment for one specific thing. That makes sense, but it takes a lot of focus. And quite frankly, your constant reminders about your deadline isn't helping. I'd like to request that you seize these. Please, rest assured, I'll have the procedures to you. Time. Negative. Your deadline is approaching. See that your work is complete in four days' time. Otherwise, you will be subject to severe consequences. Your deadline is approaching. In addition, the budget you have proposed is excessive and thus has been rejected. See that your work is complete in three days' time. Stop. I would like to sincerely apologize for my last email. I was running low on sleep, and while it's no excuse, it made me lash out when I saw your message. I. That's quite all right. Incidentally, your deadline is approaching. See that your work is complete in two days' time. Otherwise, you will be subject to severe consequences, including termination. Need more time. One day left. If you delay further, we will be forced to question your loyalty to the Foundation and take the following action. Investigation into your prior assignments and potential reversion of changes you have made to these containment procedures. Investigation and potential detainment of co-workers, family members, and close friends who could be potentially enemy contacts. Complete erasure of your present mail file from Foundation records. Complete erasure of your identity via use of amnestics. Termination. Note that, although several of these measures may already be underway, we would prefer not to be forced to execute these excessive procedures, and any actions taken will be reverted upon completion of your assignment. Tick tock. See attached. See. Circles. Contain circles. Contain circles. Contain everything. I would like Amnesiacs, now please, there's a circle in my skull. On 28th of January, 2020, the corpse of Julius Green was found in his office at Site 22. Autopsy determined the cause of death to the spontaneous combustion of his brain matter. A copy of SCP-5101 has been sent to attendant J.L., and a second copy was present in written form on his desk. As attendant J.L. had not yet been made aware of the situation and thus had no way of knowing of Mr. Green's death, an additional message was sent following the creation of SCP-5101. From attendant J.L. to Julius Green. From the office of 056. We've received your files. Excellent work, Mr. Green. We always had the utmost faith. Get some rest.